Hey everybody! This is Cherish. She's one month old. What do you have that frowny face on for, Mommy? Huh? You got the frowny face? You don't want to give anybody a smile? Huh? No smile? Well, this is Cherish. She's had her one month um, appointment yesterday. And she is almost 11 pounds. She's 10 pounds, 13 ounces. And she's a big girl. Huh, pumpkin? Ha! You big girl? Big girl? <laughs> Okie dokie. So, one month postpartum. Let me give her a passy. There you go, lovely. Lovely lady. Um. So. Uh, so now I'm going to make um, just monthly videos. And they are going to be um, just a quick update about her. But it's going to be my weight loss journey. Um. I gained 35 pounds with my pregnancy. And I was already overweight when I got pregnant. I was the highest I'd ever been. And so, um, I was 120 pounds when I gave birth. Can you believe it? It's fucking crazy. Um, when I got home, I was 212. So I only lost, like, um, wait, that's not right. I was 222. Yeah, that's right. I was 222, and I got home when I was 212. So I only lost 10 pounds at the hospital, and she was 8 pounds. Um, so it was like 8 pounds baby, 2 pounds of like placenta. Anyway, um, so I was 212 when I got home. Now I am 195, and so that basically took me a month. Um, actually, it took maybe a week and a half to get down to, I went down to 189 and um, so I've gained 6 pounds back. I had, my dad was here for a week and then um, my friend Lori from California came for a week and another thing is I'm not breastfeeding and I know that would have significantly helped. Um, and don't anybody bash me. I already feel horrible about it. Um, I breastfed at, at the hospital, but um, I think I talked about this. Um, basically, it didn't work. I wasn't producing enough milk. I my my Medela pump wasn't pumping out that much. I rented a hospital grade one. Helped a little. I did that for a whole week. So I was able to um, supplement her formula with some breast milk, and this went on for basically two weeks. I was able to do that, um, and then I had to give the pump back because uh, I didn't have the money to um, to keep it. And I thought I could just trans transition back to the old pump. It didn't work because it was just a one pump and. I know it sounds like excuses, but it's tough. You know, I, I go back to work at the end of this month, and, you know, she she eats like four ounces every two to three hours, and I was pumping out one ounce between the two of them, two breasts, like every two hours. It just sucks. So I'm disappointed about that. Um, she's healthy, and oh, formula is going to kick my ass financially, but... It is what it is. Um, so anyway, um, I joined Weight Watchers yesterday, and I weighed in at 195.4. It was a Monday. Um, I'm actually, uh, for the rest of the month that I'm home, I'm going to go weigh in on Fridays because they have like a mommy and me day so I can bring her. Um, but when I go back to work, um, I think I will do the Monday just because I like to be accountable after the weekend. So, anyway, so I started Weight Watchers, and um, I started working out. My commitment is um, 
to right now I'm just working out 30 minutes a day on um, like videos workout videos and then I go for my six week doctor appointment on May 12th and when I get the okay from my doctor so I can start jogging again I'm going to do the couch to 5k and there's a 5k that I want to do in August um, so I'm going to the, even though it only takes nine weeks to do the couch to, to 5k I still want to jog you know consistently a month or so before so this is it so I'm going to be doing a 21 day challenge with myself before I go back to work and that is basically um, the for 21 days straight I um, work out for 30, 30 minutes every day and um, log everything and uh, my water, have my eight glasses of water a day. So I start that today. So if anybody wants to do a 21 day challenge with me, um, that'd be cool. So um, I'll touch back with you the um, first week of June. I will have went back to work by then. And hopefully I have um, some good results to give you. Thanks. Bye.